Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, well, what can you say? It's been an exciting weekend, hasn't it? But well, let's just get a few things straight. Where are we going with this boxing malarkey at the moment? I don't fucking know, it's a shambles, isn't it? It is a shambles. What is happening to old Baby Ting's brother, old Dean Luther Vandross White? What's happening with his brother, Dillian White? He's obviously at the top of the pile, isn't he? We've got the most dangerous left duck in boxing, but where is he going at the moment? Oscar Rivers, pay-per-view, 20th of July. Well, it's all very well, isn't it? Having that, sh having that fight on. Uh, Obviously Dillian's in charge at show. Dave Allen, Price, Chisora, Spilker, Charlie Duffield, Dan Azir, Richard Reaporte, Chris Billum Smith. There's five fights on there on the show that are all made. That's good. That's all very well and good, yeah. Reaporte is Dillian's fighter, so he'll be getting what Dillian pays him. Dave Allen's his mate. He'll be, get, he'll be getting what he's told. Dave, Dave's a, a cheap night and Ch Dave Allen's a cheap date. David Price just wants to fight on Sky, so they'll be on 50 bags apiece then. And this is how I look at it, right? This is how I look at it. Dillian White has not fought for a European title yet. Who's to blame for that? Now I'm not going to lay the blame on Eddie Hearn for this because the proof's in the pudding on this. Now, from what we've seen, Eddie Hearn's offered Dillian White he's offered him the fight, and he, against Joshua. Dillian White's knocked it back, believing he was worth, worth another million, that that's the word. Now that other million he could miss out now. Them them titles could be with Andy Ruiz and Dillian White might never ever get to be a world champion now. He could end up fighting in another country and getting jobbed on points. All the power's gone out the window now, hasn't it? Dillian White may never be a world champion now and, and that's a shame for his talent really because he's good enough, isn't he? He's good enough. Now Now 69% KO ratio, Ten, he's got a 10% KO ratio better than Tony Bellew, but yet Tony Bellew's portrayed as I carry power by the power of Grayskull. So Tony Bellew carries power, well Dillian, Dillian White carries an extra 10%, but he don't go around saying I carry power. I carry power la. And I shall la. I carry power la. I shall la. La. Who the fuck is la? If you mean lad, speak properly and say the word lad, not la. We're not in France. Right, let's have a look at Dillian White's CV. And then we're going to see where it all went wrong for him. Or did it go all wrong for him? I mean, Dillian White. Dillian White is earning pay-per-view money and he's not even won a, won a European title. It's craziness. Craziness. But uh, it is what it is, isn't it? Uh, you could say Dillian White were lucky in the Parker fight because if Parker didn't get dropped them two times Parker wins the fight, doesn't he, really? Or if he'd have had another minute, who knows? But but that didn't happen. Since then, he's beat Chisora and he's fighting Rivers. Is Dillian White on the slide? Is he burnt out? No, I don't think he is. How old is he? 31. 31 year old. 
I don't think he's on the slide. But I do think that he needs to start taking some legal action. I think he needs to start taking legal action against the WBC. Something needs to be happening because uh, Dillian's he doesn't seem to be get he doesn't seem to be getting any progress does it? There's nothing nothing seems to be happening as regards as regards Dillian's progress towards a world title fight. I mean there's no belt on the line in Greenwich when he fights Oscar Rivers. No no belt on the line at all. And Rivers is only a six footer, he's small really, isn't he? Rivers is small. He's smaller than Dillian. In weight. Depends what Dillian turns up, doesn't it? I mean we've had Dillian coming in at heavy heavier weights. I mean I've seen Dillian when he fought Tony Vizic, he were only uh 226 do you know what I mean 226 is like 16 stone isn't it 16 stone 2 and 3 quarters he was there and he's come in high a few times but 260 against Malcolm Tan that's big 246 and a quarter last time so like I said Dillian at 226 I bet he looked well at 226, but is that big enough against the big guys? I don't know. When he fought Dave Allen, they were 245. Uh, but we'll see, won't we? We'll see, but it is what it is, isn't it? But Oscar Rivers, I think that should be an easy win for Dillian. Really easy. But he's beat Bryant Jennings, you know, so it's not it's not nailed on that this is a, a straight win for Dillian White. It's not nailed on at all. He's fighting a guy who's undefeated, so we can't be too harsh on the pay-per-view of this fight. Uh, I know Baby Ting, Dillian's brother, old uh, Luther Van Dross, what's he called, Dean White, he says that Dillian's a pay-per-view fighter. Well, he's going to say that, and it's his brother. Uh, in certain fights, yeah. You couldn't put Dillian on against uh, Nick Webb and say that's pay-per-view. No, it's got to be right fight. Oscar Rivers, 26-0. Box wreck number 14, and number one guy in Colombia. Same age, similar age, sorry. Uh, just turned 32. Dillian is 31. There's a year, there's a year difference in between them both, or 10 months or something. Uh, they both got the same uh, KO ratio, 69%. So I don't really see this fight going. I don't see it going uh, the distance. Dillian's got a bit more experience, he's uh, done 26 more rounds, but well, they both had 26 fights, although Dillian's got a loss on his record against Big Doss of Femi. I wonder if Anthony Lever from Matchroom is going to be walking about now saying when Joshua's oh, calling it AAJ meaning after AJ. Do you know what I mean? I don't hear anybody saying, what are we all doing the night AAJ after AJ? I don't hear them fucking matchroom gimps coming out when you hear that fucker. Eh? Now that Big Doss of Femi's been smoked. In fact, I might put the smoking on later. So I'm a bit fed up today and it cheers me up when I see other people's downfalls like Femi. How's about that one for you fucking haters? I always watch Femi get beat against Ruiz when I'm bored. Another good fight I like to watch. Spencer Fearing against Dave Walker. I like to put that one on as well. Oh, I like to put Johnny Nelson against Carl Thompson. Just so I know that Johnny Nelson, what a fraud Johnny Nelson is having that title gifted him by Uncle Frank. 
But it is what it is, isn't it? But Dillian White, getting back to his CV, as far as I'm concerned, Dillian White's CV is... It's not bad in the last nine fights since he beat... Since he lost to the big dosser. You know, that Bakurin were a gift. Dave Allen, that's a gift. Ian Lewinson, a gift. Chisora, a good win. Malcolm Tan, a gift. Elinis, a good win. Brown, a good win. 25 and 0, former champion. Parker, a great win. Chisora, rematch. Good win. Tough guy, Chisora, and he always gets up for it against Dillian. Uh, I've been told they're going to have a trilogy. Chisora against uh, Dillian. I've been told it's going to a trilogy, that. So, that's going to be interesting. If Eddie digs that up next year, fucking hell, would you put it past him? No, but I see Dillian White going to fight Chisora next year. That's what I see. I see Dillian and Chisora. Uh, sorry, Dillian and, and Bellew getting at it. I also see Dillian and Chisora trilogy. But Bellew's coming back, as I've uh, put it in one of my videos earlier. So it is what it is, isn't it? But, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But, so, but yeah, so I, I'm going to blame, I'm going to blame, I'm going to blame Eddie Hearn. I'm going to blame Eddie Hearn, I'm afraid, that's who I'm going to blame, so it is what it is isn't it, so peace out, keep on trucking, I'm going to blame Eddie Hearn, I wasn't going to do, but I think I'm going to blame Eddie Hearn, because he's manipulated it to his to himself, hasn't he, I mean, Dillian White, right, I told Dillian White that he were going to fight Chisora in a rematch and I don't think he wanted that fight and he ended up fighting him and so Eddie got his own way didn't he yeah he made him wait two years but Eddie got it in the end didn't he he ended up fighting Chisora so Eddie got his own way with the Dillian Chisora fight and Dillian's had all these obstacles put in front of him and I think Eddie Hearns manipulated it and Dillian keeps jumping for whoops and earning money and he's coming up with goods, isn't he? But sooner or later, you're going to get caught out, isn't he? But the belts look further and further away from him at the moment, don't they, really? I think they do. I think they look further and further away. And I think it's a shame. I think it's a real, real shame. I do, but... You know, it's one of those things, isn't it? So... But I think Dillian needs to take the opportunity to do all they can. If I were Dillian White, I'd beat Rivers and then I would kick up such a fuss for the Wilder fight. Because that's the only way that Dillian, Dillian White's going to get his title shot. Because Joshua Ruiz, that could go to a trilogy. So his only way to get a world title now is going to be the belts getting split up. Or Wilder. And Al Heyman's not going to want that, is he? He's not going to want that. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. But, yeah, this looks a decent card, this. Dave Allen's on it as well. So, probably going to buy this one. White, Rivers. Rhea Porte, Chris Billum, Smith. Duffield. Aziz, Chisora Spilker, Alan Price. Yep. Yeah. I mean, if Dave Allen loses and Spilker loses, they'll fight. Or if Price loses and Spilker loses, they'll fight. And Dave Allen will fight Chisora. Then it could be winner of that gets white. So that's how they'll look at it. So they'll have their own little round robin, won't they? We are belts. You know, if Joshua loses, if Joshua loses, right, against, if Joshua loses against Louise, Eddie Earn will probably have a tournament. He'll start a tournament and he'll be coming out with things like, it's not about belts, 
It's about the Muhammad Ali Trophy. It's not about belts. That's what I'll be saying. It's not about belts, it's about the Ali Trophy. Belts are old hat now. It's about the Ali Trophy. So, keep on trucking.